Hello and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. It's really good to have you here, everyone. I hope you're all keeping well. This is going to be a reading for Fire Signs, Aries, Sag, and Leo. And we're going to be having a look at the person who broke your heart. Okay, so it's a bit of a heavy read. We all know who this person is. Um, and some of us do want to find out what's been going on with them, what's happening on their end, where they're at, where their head's at. Uh, so hopefully this is going to be helpful for you. Uh, if you enjoy this content, please feel free to leave behind a like, but also to subscribe to the channel. Uh, we've got a lot more content coming your way, so stay tuned for that. Otherwise, uh, let's give the cards a good shuffle. I'll use the Rider Waite deck first. Uh, and we'll see the one who broke your heart. The one who hurt you. What's going on with this person? They're doing quite well, I have to say, fire signs. They've either met someone new, they've met a soulmate or a twin flame, or they've got a new attraction, a new person that they're either communicating with or that they're attracted to. Um, for some of you, I want to say that this person is about to settle down, okay? Uh, we see the cups, the Ten of Cups is happily ever after card. Um, there's a card of children here, so they might be settling down or having a child um, with someone, okay? So Ace of Pentacles the lovers, the wheel of fortune. This is a very divine time in this person's life. I also want to say if this person hasn't married or remarried or settled down or is expecting a child, it could very well indicate that fate, God, the universe is going to send you another opportunity with this person. They could be very hopeful that that could happen. The lovers card is communication. So for some of you, this person is about to reach out or you're going to hear from them. And, um, they want to make things right again, or they could be just straight out blunt with you and say, you know, I want to give this a second go. I've been missing you. I've been thinking about you. Let's give this a second go. They want to reconcile, okay? They're, with the rainbow here, it says to me that this person is over all the bad stuff that happened, okay? They're, they're starting to see the rainbow. So they've um, surpassed that period where, you know, I'm angry at you. You did this to me. I hate you. There's bitterness. Um, they've passed that and now they're in the energy of they're missing you. They're only reminiscing about the good times. You know, when it happens, it's it's the human condition, especially when we're so fresh from a breakup or from hurt or from pain. We need to justify our feelings, um, you know, or or we remember the, the bad stuff, the, the, the stuff that's still fresh, the stuff that really upset us or was really traumatic. Um, but then as time goes by, our emotions begin to change. And we begin, we begin to feel more attracted to the good memories, the, the the way you made this person feel, the beautiful things you did to them, how you made them transform or grow. I think they're they're currently coming into this sort of energy. And you may bump into this person. This is either a date or a sudden reunion um, between you and them. So that's very likely that that could take place. And it's happening fairly soon. I want to say with you and this person, it's like things are still open-ended and... There's some sequence of events that are going to take place that may bring you back to them. Now, if that's not the case and, and you know that this person is getting married or, you know, the, pre the the Empress is a pregnant energy, she's a fertile energy, and then we've got the Ten of Cups. Um, for some of you, this person is settling down for the long haul, okay? And that's a tough pill to swallow. It's not going to be for all of you, but for some, they have found someone who makes them happy, okay? Or they found someone who they make happy, Yes, there's good and bad in every relationship, so I'm sure they've got their own stuff going on. Um, but it can indicate that it's a time or this is a reading that you need to release this person and let them live the life that they have created for themselves now. Okay, they may not come back, but for others, I do get a very strong sense that it is it is likely that they could come back. Um, now, for some of you, these cards don't always indicate relationships. The lovers could indicate that this person is, you know, they're online, they're doing a bit of dating, they're talking to some people. They might have gotten a new job recently or a new living situation. The pregnancy or the child could definitely be someone around their family, okay? It might not be theirs, Um it could be someone that they're, you know, they've got lots of stuff happening in their home life or their family life um, as well. 
Okay, Six of Pentacles, they're giving a lot of their energy or their time to other people. They're trying to distract themselves. Um, the Hangman still indicates they're still hung up on some level. They're defensive over you. If anyone ever asks about you, um, fire signs, they're defensive. Nine of Wands. Um, they either defend you. If someone says, oh, how's that person going? You know, they, they did that crappy thing to you or whatever. Um, pardon my French. But it could be that they're still defending you on some level here. Because they're still hung up with the hangman. There's something that they still don't understand um, or never came to understand. They're still trying to work it out. Something in particular that happened between the both of you that left this person feel really puzzled, really confused, or it made them feel out of the loop. Now, whatever it is that happened between you and this person, they're still dwelling on it and they're still thinking about it. Interesting cards again that we have here. The Ten of Cups card of Happily Ever After. This is the moon in the back. We see the Cancer moon and the moon is sentimental. The moon is attachment. It's Cancer energy. Um... But it's sentimental or nostalgic. So it definitely indicates this person is nostalgic over something. The fish, the fish is fantasy. The fish is Pisces. Um, It's dreaming. It's intuitive thought. It's visualization. They are either... I don't know if I'm going too far here. But for some of you, this person has moved on to someone else. And as sad and as as really sweet yet hurtful as this is going to sound, they sometimes picture you being in that position so if they've moved on and they've met a new woman for example they've picturing what it would have been like to have you there as their wife or their the person that they moved in with or they had children with it's not wrong it's it's you know it's human nature you can't fault this person for doing that but i think there's something happening here there's still some sort of attachment um And it could even be like on a subconscious level because the moon can represent subconscious energy as well. Mm, So seeing that definitely makes me feel it's very likely. The six of pentacles, they're all about giving, giving their time, giving their attention, giving their energy to a lot of other things. They may have even come into a place where they're exhausting themselves. Um, They're getting us the support of family and friends around the situation, but it's not helping them much. The Knight of Pentacles, they're trying to take things slowly, take things day by day. Um, But sometimes they feel like, excuse me, sometimes they feel like things are at a bit of a standstill. Um, For them, at least. I'll leave it at that, uh, though. So I do hope it's been helpful. Thank you again so much for tuning in. um, And hopefully we shall be in touch very, very soon. So um, take care. Lots of love, everyone. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'm sure I'll catch you very soon. So be well and take care.